Hi, it's Drew Barrymore from Flower Home Kids, and I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of the new line. I was inspired to do a kid's line because I have a seven and a five-year-old girls, and I have been shopping for them since I built their nurseries. And I've looked at a lot of nurseries when my kids were being born, and I was thinking, like, Rosemary's Baby? What are we even talking about? This looks like the room is about to have like a seance. It's so bizarre. I wanted a lot of joy. I wanted a standard shelf to not just be a shelf, but a storage that actually had character and looked like an art piece in a room. Now, every piece that we create works to mix and match so that you can really personalize it, but I think you should have pillows, that go with a lamp, I think that adds a designery element. And we have abundant amounts of wall art to make your room feel really cozy, but also have like themes or different animals or sayings. Storage is really important to me. I love Mr. Alligator because he's a great place to put toys. I love Mr. Lion Bookshelf because, I mean, who doesn't want Mr. Lion Bookshelf? This we're calling the Cloud Room. We actually made these headboards out of a linen. I love clouds and stars and all things sort of planetary because it's transportive. This wall I really love because as a mom who has collected so much wall art for her daughters, I don't think it matters what gender your child is in, what are they interested in? Are they science? Are they planetary? What is the theme of your kid and their passions and their curiosities? This is one of my favorite rooms. It's the rainbow room. Rainbows represent inclusiveness and a celebration of everyone. So we've got our rainbow headboard. I love animals and little ways to display animals that don't look totally reproduced. I wanted everything to have a hand feel. This piece is probably the one that makes me cry <laughs> the most. It's very emotional. When I was turning 40, um, my friend had my daughter do uh, a questionnaire about me and we turned it into this piece actually. So this is really from my daughter. Um, she says my mom's name is Mom and my mom's favorite food is salad. Her best friend is me, and my mom's job is to work. I encourage all parents to do like a little questionnaire with their kids and sort of turn it into a piece of art. I love our basic cabinetry. All these rainbows can come off and it can just become a clean white cabinet as your children get older. This is the rainbow storage unit that I tried to haggle a woman at a flea market, and I, I have to give it to her, she wouldn't budge. I was offering her everything and anything, so we made our own. All your junk, your toys, your cleanup goes in here, and you're done. This is my favorite shelf. I always say a bookshelf is a bookshelf is a bookshelf, until you realize it doesn't have to look like any other bookshelf. This alligator-inspired room was a print that I found and it just made me so happy. I fell in love with it. My daughter is the biggest animal freak you will ever meet. I call her Ace Ventura. Alrighty then. To me, I thought a room that was really respectful of the way kids feel about nature was really important to me. Lamps are a big thing. We always do shades that are unique, you will never find a standard white linen lampshade. And if I think I've seen it or I think it's easily available, I don't want to do it. I want to provide a place here where people can go and find things they can't find out there in the world. I also love the cat and dog mirror. I think that cat mirror would be a really positive thing for little girls. I think to train our children into seeing their own reflection and thinking something kind to themselves or something that's joyous is excellent training for a healthier adult. I think that there's going to be a movement in children's rooms where we're going to get away from a twin bed. I think a full is something that's much more comfortable for mom, dad to lay in bed and read with their kids. 
I love a house bed. You can put a big sheet over this with some twinkle lights underneath and make an absolute fort and pretend it's anywhere in the world. I also like that this has a window, but an odd one, a unique one. Another favorite bookshelf, Mr. Pear. If it's a fruit or an animal or a rainbow, I want to turn it into storage. <laughs> And if there is one room in the house that can be the most loud and adventurous and joyous and colorful and bright, it's a kid's room.